Hello, what is Curry? Vice Chair of Rent Ayrshire and Aaron Countryside Initiative here. The wonderful Elaine Bryson is behind the camera and today we are here at Dumfries House in Ayrshire with 300 pupils from various Ayrshire primary schools learning about where their food comes from, asking us loads of questions that we do not know the answer to and meeting lots of different farm animals. I always say this is the most positive project that the farming industry has taken or embraced in. How they're looked after on farm and the passion and the love that the farmer has for that life cycle of these animals. We were showing the children uh, what the important ingredients were for soil, we were helping them work out what was needed in healthy soil and when they go back to school they're all going to check to see if they've got healthy soil and to do that they are going to do the worm dance and when they do the worm dance they will look for 12 worms under a square metre and that's how they will know if they have healthy soil. Okay so the worm dance we put our arms above our head and we wiggle our hips and stamp our feet to wake the worms up. <laughs> Then some geese came to say hello and I decided to herd them towards the children, which in hindsight really was not a good idea. Hi there, my name's Julie Hanna. I work for the British Horse Society. I'm the regional manager for Scotland. I've been able to teach them in terms of access, welfare, training, a lot of the safety messages going out that hopefully they can bring back to their parents to promote our VHS Dead Slow campaign. I'm PC Andrew Thorne. I am the Rural Watch Coordinator for uh, U Division Ayrshire um, in Scotland. It's been a great uh, couple of days here. We've spent up at Dumfries House, uh, speaking to hundreds of kids from across the Usher and letting them know all about the work that's been done in terms of fly tipping and keeping dogs under control in terms of livestock protection. Uh, we've learned a lot from the kids and I hope they've learned a lot and they'll take things that we've got today. They'll set them in a good place uh, going forward when they're out and about in the rural community. And I did the pig workshop and um, today it was very much interactive and sensory so that all the children interacted with the seven Tamworth Cross Landricks, th um, six week old piglets and they thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. And to do with that they also learned everything that we get from pigs, every product, product etc. We are explaining what the process is from getting the wool from the sheep to the finished article in knitting or weaving or crochet. Um, so we start off by explaining the process of shearing and why we shear. Then we show them how to uh, why wool needs to be spun. And then we show different types of spinning wheel, from the drop spindle right up to a modern electric spinner. Our main focus uh, message today was about telling the children where their beef, lamb, and pork comes from. So the title really was from farm to fork. Um, we looked at buying food locally, uh, we looked at the labelling on different cuts of meat, why the, we wanted to encourage children and their families to support local produce and in particularly um, Scotch produce. So very interesting in, uh, where, what the different parts of the pig were and where all the food comes from. It's been great to see every single one of them interested. So today I was talking about um, poultry, um, focusing mainly on uh, chicks and eggs and the products we get from chickens in particular. Um, really just to make that connection back to the finished chicken nugget for example that you eat and the animal that produces it and a little bit of the systems behind that. Um, looking at life cycles, um, how, how long it takes for an egg to hatch, um, how many eggs a year a chicken produces, just some basic facts to engage them and lastly letting them meet um, newly hatched chicks to just really get that physical connection and that sort of empathy back to a living thing um, and sort of what is all involved in our food production and the thoughts we can start helping children have around that. The kids have been learning basically the basics of a dairy cow from how they, how they start lactation from being fed, water, having the calf, the calves an essential part of the milking process before they, they don't have a calf they can't milk obviously, um, how much milk will the calves will, uh, cows will produce um, and a, a day per day. Most of these children have never seen a cow or seen a farmer before so you don't go into great depth you have to think about what you're going to say first so you don't stumble or stammer. Uh, but in, involve the children. Don't just say you've got 24 litres a day. Do some maths for them. Kids like to show off. They like to see that they're learning. And it makes the teachers feel great if the, te if the if pupils are interacting. Because I never, don't always go for the one that puts their hand up first. 
go for the one at the corner, the shy one, because if they can get a question right, they grow. You see kids grow, so it's a great day, it's thoroughly enjoyable. The length of time a horse needs shod, how to balance the horse, how it needs uh, more off one side than the other, uh, the type of horn it's got, uh, the walls get more moist or less moisture in it than the sole, the sole looks folly, it's naturally, and the frog, uh, exactly how long to shoe the horse, different types of horse for uh, they're shod differently for their uh, racing, for hunting, for Clydesdales. They all need different uh, shoes on for their uh, different tasks. And today we were uh, encouraging the kids to get more involved with bees. So we talked to them about uh, what the bees do, how they make honey, how they survive, the life cycle of a honeybee. We showed them uh, the hive and how the hive's made up and the various bits of equipment that we use. Um, and finally we showed them some live bees in a demonstration hive which included seeing the queen and all the work she does to keep the colony alive and kicking and producing honey for us all to eat. We spoke about arable farming and tried to connect what we grow as arable farmers and seeds and pulses to connect it to the food chain to keep the kids interested. So our main aim was, was to show them the connection with the physical presentation of the actual plant that grows and the finished product in a bag or a tin. So what we had was we had a tin of beans and I had some bean plants. We had uh, stalks of barley and harvested barley. We had wheat which we ground in the exhibition millstone and showed them the flour which was the finished product of the wheat and they worked out what the flour was in. I hope you've enjoyed a wee sneak peek at our day from Dumfries House. However, we can say how good it is all we want, but I think what really matters is how much the kids enjoyed it. So I'll pass you on to them now for what they thought of the day. Have you had a good day? Yeah! Have you had a good day? Yeah! Favourite, favourite things today, what have you enjoyed? Teddy! Hey! Hey! Well, Denise, the pigs have went down. Anything else? Question, have you had a good day today? Yeah! Louder, louder. Right, I tell you what, as loud as you possibly want. Right, you ready? Have you had a good day? Yeah! What's your favourite thing been? Yeah! And I'll pass you on to Alistair Love for one very important message. Aye, if you're, if you're not getting involved in the wreck, get involved. You're missing out.